Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave video. This time I'm going to be doing another James Bond shave, James Bond tribute. This time to uh, the last official United Artists Eon production movie by Sean Connery. None other than Diamonds Are Forever. May I remind you, 007, that Blofeld's dead. Finished. Mr. and Mrs. James Bond. One chance. Where can I find him? <coughs> Where is Blofeld? Where is Ernst Stavro Blofeld? Speak up, darling. I can't hear you. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Blofeld. Darling, for Christmas it's diamonds, because diamonds are forever. All right, man, I love those previews. Uh, today we will be using a 1971, in honor of the opening uh, year of that movie, 1971. Gillette Long Handled Black Beauty. I believe it's an R2. I'm going to be using, by recommendation, I haven't tried this before, so we'll see how it works, from Geo F. Trumpner in London, England, the Eucharist Shaving Cream. So we're going to be putting this in a bowl and trying to get a lather made out of it. The bowl I'll be using today will be the uh, Panta Ray. I'm going to put it in here, and uh, we'll whip it up with that. I'm going to be using some vintage Wilkinson sword blades today. And they are the made in England, but packaged in the United States. So we'll be using one of those today. The brush from Germany, the Shave Mac Badger. And I don't know if they make this particular handle anymore, but I really like that handle. So as we're sitting, let me put this into the crystal skull here. Get it soaking a little bit. And get it ready. All right, we're in there. All right, and for the aftershave, I'll actually be using also some uh, Thayer's and then I will use some more of the Floris number 89 today. All right, so let us get this shave started. Let me wet my face. My wife was complaining, saying, hey, shave man, it's time to do a shave because uh, uh, you could strike a match on that and it was irritating her. So let's shake this up. I don't know if it needs it. Sure hope this goes good, because I've never tried this before. We'll put a little in here. I could probably face lather this, but... Uh, let's get some of that out. You never know. You never know, is it going to be too much water? Is it not going to be enough water? Oh. So did you guys see Diamonds Are Forever? That movie has an a special appeal to me. Uh, it came out from England to the United States in December of 1969. And I was living with my folks in a real crappy apartment here in Huntington Beach. Me and my brother and sister, my folks. And my dad was a big James Bond fan. And he missed England. Uh, oh man, this is nice. He missed England a lot. So when Diamonds Are Forever came out, I live in Huntington Beach, and there's a city that borders it called Fountain Valley, and they had a drive-in, and they were doing a triple feature. Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, and Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds Are Forever was the, uh, the first movie, the main movie. So uh, my dad took me. Here I am. What was I, like a, or a nine-year-old kid going to the drive-in with my dad? 
You see, diamonds are forever. And he loved the movie. And me seeing him laughing and yelling and just having a good time really left an impression on me. And we watched that triple feature. On the way home, the car broke down. And I had to walk about three miles with my dad at one o'clock in the morning back to my crappy apartment in Huntington Beach. So I do remember that. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I was reading some critics on this movie, on Diamonds Are Forever, and they said it's the third worst James Bond movie made behind uh, The Man with the Golden Gun, which I really liked. Uh, Die Another Day, and then this. But I really, really enjoyed the movie, and if you haven't seen it, I really encourage you to. That was my first taste of Las Vegas. As a family yet, we had not been... Oh, and I'm on setting number two on this. I'm taking it down, but it's not biting enough. I'm going to turn it to setting number three. Release that. Turn it to setting number three. It just clicked in. Lock it back in place. You can tell it's not quite as aggressive. There we go. Hear that? Now it's cutting it. So, ah, uh, now Sean Connery, for you guys, you younger guys who don't know, he gave up the role of James Bond after You Only Live Twice. He was apparently filming, or at a premiere in Japan, where a lot of the movie was filmed, and he said he was in the restroom, and people were approaching him as he's trying to go to the restroom for autographs. He said, I've had it. And that was his last movie. So then they went on to, I don't know if you can see it, George Lazenby on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And then when it didn't work out with him, they paid him, or Sean Connery, they offered him a lot of money to come back for one more James Bond film, Diamonds Are Forever. And I believe they paid him one, I've heard one million, but I believe it's 1.2 million unheard of at that time, and he gave it all to a Scottish youth charity. But uh, I really like the movie, but it's the first time they do these crazy, uh, I will say, campy jokes. Here's a few of them. Hi, I'm Plenty. But of course you are. Plenty O'Toole. Named after your father, perhaps. In all the other movies, Sean Connery had been very serious. But in this one, a lot of people didn't like that he was, uh, it was a lot of one-liners and kind of just jokes in general. That Roger Moore continued and basically most of the Bonds, I don't think Daniel Craig does it as much, would do those little, the little smart aleck remarks. So that, that really, a lot of people didn't like that. The villains in this <laughs> were just uh, two of the most uh, flamboyant villains I've ever seen in a James Bond movie, Mr. Wind and Mr. Kid. And uh, I'll show you some scenes of them, and you'll see this scene uh, when they do their final battle with Sean Connery. Here, take a look. Fasten seatbelts and no smoking until airborne. Thank you. They're both aboard. I must say, Miss Case seems quite attractive. For a lady. If at first you don't succeed, Mr. Key. Try, try again, Mr. Wynn. Very moving. Heartwarming, Mr. Wynn. A glowing tribute, Mr. Kidd. Wine is quite excellent. Although for such a grand meal, I had rather expected a claret. Of course. Unfortunately, our cellar is rather poorly stocked with clarets. Mouton Rothschild is a claret. 
and I've smelt that after shave before, and both times I've smelt a rat. Very, very flamboyant villains, to say the least. But I like that movie because most of the James Bond movies are filmed in countries, Jamaica, the Bahamas, Europe, Russia. You know, I, I, I never get to go there, but Diamonds Are Forever, filmed in Las Vegas. And uh, the White House uh, Hotel, that's depicted W-H-Y-A-T-T or whatever. The White House that's depicted in it was actually the Las Vegas Hilton. Uh, and it was on, not on the uh, strip itself. It was kind of back a ways. And I went, uh, my big thing was when my folks started going to Vegas and I was still not old enough to gamble. In, in the U.S., uh, you had to be 21 to drink. So I really couldn't do much. But me and my cousin would go to a lot of the hotels in that movie, Tropicana, I think The Sands. There's a lot of them depicted in that, that uh, a lot of them are no longer there. But we would get matchbooks. We would go to uh, visit those hotels and get, and it was kind of just me being in an area that the loss, uh, that that movie was filmed. It was filmed downtown, that car chase. Oh, the car chase. That Mach 1 Mustang, that red Mustang. Those stunts that he did, check this thing. Those stunts that he that they did in that movie were not CGI. They didn't have that there. That was a, a real stunt going up on two wheels and going down the alley. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And today they still have uh, downtown Las Vegas. And you can go, although it's covered now. It was open in those days. But you can go and see where that car chase was filmed. To me, uh, a memorable Bond movie because of the... Uh, history of me and my dad seeing it. Jill St. John wasn't so bad either. I never got a chance to join the Playboy Club. They tore down the last Playboy Club here and closed the last Playboy Club down in 1987. But uh, it was kind of neat to see that card, uh, the key card that you could get. And they had one in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles. And I did get a chance to go with my friends the weekend. It closed on the Monday. We went the last weekend that the Los Angeles Playboy Club was open. And they closed it down, I believe it was 1987. But I heard the one in London because you have a casino, you could gamble in the Playboy Club in London and uh, see all the bunnies and, you know, I heard that was just awesome. Any of you guys in London or from Europe ever go to that? Tell me your thoughts. I've only heard from one guy who had ever been to that. And they ended up closing that down, that casino down. Hugh Hefner closed it down. The oil... The rich oil people from Saudi Arabia and, and the Gulf would come there and gamble and throw money like crazy in that club. I am told that that club, you know, Hugh Hefner had clubs all over the world. He had Playboy magazine. He had merchandise. And that London club made over half the profits of the Playboy organization because of all the petrodollars, they call, that were gambled there by the rich oil conglomerate owners. It's quiet out there today. Everybody's at work. No cuts. You know, reasonably priced. Again, bought it off the internet. Very reasonably priced. I'll have to put this into the rotation and it's nice to, oh, here is the price on it now. 
online purchase. Ah, all right. Now the wife will be happy. Little Thayer's. Yeah, the discontinued one. Go figure, huh? I didn't know they were going to discontinue it. Peach. Very nice. Now a little Flor Floris 89. All right. Ooh, there's a burn. All right, everybody. There you go. Diamonds are forever. James Bond tribute. The last official Sean Connery James Bond movie until he returned in 1985 to do Never Say Never Again. But it was not with United Artists and Eon Productions. So, till next time, it's Ken Surf saying thank you for watching and have a great night. We'll see you next time.